welcome to it's traffic in this video i am going to show you how you can display this diamond shape pattern you can observe that there are seven lines in this pattern and this is a diamond shape also we can say it is a collection of two triangles one is upward one is down downward so first we are going to make the upward triangle and after that we will make the downward triangle in upward triangle there will be four lines and each lines the number of star will increase by 2 into n minus 1 2 into n minus 1 means if we take the n value as 1 then 2 into 1 it is 1 1 uh, 2 into 1 it is 2 minus 1 it is 1 next time 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 it is 3 next time 3 then 5 then 7 and so on and for downward triangle will have three lines and each time they are going by decreasing order so let's begin it first we'll write the header file that is include stdio.h then a main function int main after that we'll have the variables we'll take total Four variables int i this is for number of lines j four spaces k for displaying the stars and n for number of lines we take the number of lines as four now we are going to create the number of lines for the first triangles for that four i equal i equal one i less than equal to 4 i plus plus this is done now we will create a loop for creating the spaces now we will write 4 j equal 1 we will start from 0 otherwise we will not get enough spaces j less than equal to n minus i first time what happen j will be 0 then the condition is j is greater than n minus uh, less than equal to n minus i n minus i means 4 minus i it will be 3 so it will go 3 times this way it will walk first time we will get 3 spaces then we will get 2 spaces and last time we will get 1 uh, and a fourth line no spaces and j plus plus after that bracket close now inside this for loop we'll write printf statement and here we'll just add one blank space now this one done we'll exit from this for loop now we'll click create for loop for the pattern triangular shape here we'll write for here we are going to use k variable k equal one k less than equal to i into 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1 that means at first the i value is 1 so i into 2 minus 1 at first i value is 1 so 1 into 2 it is 2 2 minus 1 it will be 1 so first time it will run for one time first time we need one star only and second time i value will be 2 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 3 so second time it will run for three times and here we'll write k plus plus and inside this loop we'll just add a printf statement and we'll write star done now we'll come to the main for loop and here we'll add a printf statement and we'll add here slash n to display new line and now we'll come to the main function and here we'll add return 0 this uh, program is only for the first triangle first let it let it check whether it's run or not build and run so we are getting the first triangle now we have to create the second triangle to create the second triangle again we will write another for loop for i equal 1 i less than equal to yeah. 
i less than equal to or we can write less than n also less than equal to n minus 1 because we have to display only four three lines here not four lines that's why n minus 1 now the value of i will be plus plus now we'll come inside to create the spaces here we'll write 4 and we'll write j equal 1 j less than equal to j equal 0 then j less than equal to i minus 1 then j plus plus now at first the, if you observe the pattern at first line we will need one space and second line we need two space third line we need three space first line we need one space for that reason what happened j is starting from 0 and condition is i minus 1 so i minus 1 is it is 1 i minus 1 1 minus 1 it is 0 so it will run one time only second time it start from 0 2 minus 1 it is 1 from 0 and 1 it will display two times and so on it will display now we are going to add a print up statement and here we will add just one empty space now we will come out from this for loop and we will write for loop to display the pattern here we will write k variable k equal at first we will write n minus 1 why n minus 1 because here we need one number less that's why it is 1 minus 1 and into 2 minus 1 that means n value is 4 so 4 minus 1 it is 3 3 into 2 it will be 8 sorry 6 6 minus 1 5 means we will get 5 times we will get 5 times then k less than uh, greater than equal to here we'll write this formula i into 2 minus 1 then k plus plus and here we are going to just add a printf statement and here slash n and i think it's finished let's debug the uh, build and run there is some mistake for k equal n minus 1 into 2 minus 1 then k greater than equal to i into 2 minus 1 and sorry we have to give k minus minus because we are starting the k from 5 that's why it is go decreasing order if it go increasing order then the loop will be infinity so now build and run here not slash n here we will have star and inside the main for loop we'll have the slash n now we'll run the program so we are getting the shape like this way but uh, at first line we didn't get any spaces For that we have to do 
we have to remove just uh, equal sign from this here so we are getting this diamond shape now now let's again go through the programs how this loop work if you observe the output you can see at first line we need three spaces so for spaces this loop i am using j equal 1 j greater than n minus 1 n minus 1 it is 4 but if we give equal sign then from 0 to 4 it will be like how many numbers uh, 5 4 numbers that's why that's why we are removing the equal sign then printf this is for displaying the space and in this loop k equal 1 from starting and each time it uh, the condition is increased by this i into 2 minus 1 and i will always increasing 1 to this way so the number of star will increase this way and for the next one i equal 1 i less than equal to n minus 1 because we need to run only 3 times and i plus plus for j equal 0 from starting and j less than equal to i minus 1 i minus 1 means that is 1 minus 1 at least one time we need that's why and j plus plus and and here k equal n minus 1 because we need 5 stars so uh, we need 3 lines 3 lines then it the number of star will be 5 that's why n minus 1 into 2 means n was 4 so 4 minus 1 3 3 into 2 6 6 minus 1 it's 5 then condition is k greater than equal to i into i minus 1 at first i is 1 so 1 1 into 2 it is 2 2 minus 1 1 means till the value is 1 it will run means from 5 to 1 it will run so 5 time we will get and it's time k minus minus and here we'll display the stars and in the main for loop just display a new line so this way we can do this program now let's make it dynamic means number of star will take it from user so here we have defined the n as 4 now we'll not define we'll take the value of n from the stars or uh, we'll take the value of n from user so at first we'll ask printf enter number of lines slash n and we'll read the n scan f we'll write here percent d because uh, it's a decimal number and m person n when n we will store it now let's build and run now suppose I am giving 7 but here see when I enter 7 the number of lines are this way 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 something is wrong Oh, here we have not written n that's why it is wrong let's write it 7 so now count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 means uh, to get the number of exact line if we need exact line how many lines we need we have to write this way uh, 2 into n minus 1 so we can again write n equal two into n means if the minus 1 if the user write as a uh, number of line as 8 then 8 to the 16 16 minus 1 will get so this way we will get now let's do it n into 2 
minus 1. Build and run. Now let's number of line is 7. Oops, we are getting so many. I think we have to divide it. And divide 2. Number of line is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Seven. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's try with other number. Eight. Eight will not get. We need odd number of lines. So nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this way also we can do, or we can just skip this part directly if we'll take only the number of line for the first triangle and we'll do it just for adding the program dynamic we are adding these two line extra and earlier we used only n variable so in the loop we have condition for the main loop we have condition is i less than equal to n and in the next triangle we have condition is i less than equal to n minus 1 and this way we can make this dimension try uh, dimension by using nest state loop in C. I hope you have understood. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.